This is the battle of old versus new Samsung Galaxy S21 Fan Edition versus Samsung Galaxy S23 FE. Who will win? Let's find out. What's gonna feel like he's tripping like It's like my mom First, let's talk about color profile and saturation and these two phones are really good A typical Samsung flagship phones that produces good image quality. I guess the question today here is, is it time to upgrade if you have an older Samsung Galaxy S21 Fan Edition and is Galaxy S23 FE a good choice for upgrade? The colors on S21 Fan Edition is really good, sometimes inconsistent in terms of colors depending on the light source. It also exhibits cooler tone and the colors are a little bit muted compared to S23 Fan Edition sometimes. Also, the focal length of the main sensor is a little closer to the subject. I always have to adjust the S23 Fan Edition so it will have the same field of view. But overall, without a side-by-side -side test, I don't think you will feel much of a difference compared to the newer model. Again, it's just the inconsistency sometimes that would throw me off on using this phone as my daily driver. Talking about Samsung Galaxy S23 Fan Edition, of course, not just the camera but overall, it is an upgraded specs from the processor to the longer updates. But in terms of camera, overall, it is warmer than the older S21 Fan Edition and the colors are popping out and it's more vivid. Colors like blue, red, purple, and orange are the colors that's standing out on this phone. And in terms of reliability, the images coming from this phone is more consistent than S21 Fan Edition, even with different light source. The contrast is also a bit stronger in S23 Fan Edition, but if you like brighter images, S21 FE tends to produce that. Quickly checking the specification, Samsung Galaxy S21 Fan Edition is a triple camera setup of 12 megapixel main with dual face detection autofocus and OIS, an 8 megapixel telephoto with 3 times optical zoom, and a regular 12 megapixel ultra wide. The video can shoot up to 4K 60 FPS. The selfie camera is a whopping 32 megapixel that can shoot the same resolution on video as the rear cameras. While the newer Samsung Galaxy S23 Fan Edition has 50 megapixel main shooter with face detection autofocus and OIS, same 8 megapixel telephoto with 3 times optical zoom, same 12 megapixel ultra wide. The resolution is upgraded to 8K 24 FPS, but the resolution of the selfie goes down to 10 megapixel from 32 megapixel of S21 FE. If you don't own any of these two phones and you would like to purchase one of them, I feel like you will be happy owning any of these two phones from a camera perspective. And looking at all three sensors from the ultra-wide, wide, and telephoto, characteristics are the same, brighter on S21 Fan Edition, and more contrast on S23 Fan Edition. This is the video test and we're shooting 4K 30fps on Samsung Galaxy S21 Fan Edition. And this is 8K 24fps video recording on the new Samsung Galaxy S23 Fan Edition. In terms of details, I think it's okay. I think it's just gimmicky. But there you go, you have an 8K video recording on the new S23 Fan Edition. Now let's talk about portrait mode and both of these phones has excellent portrait mode in terms of subject separation and details. And although there's a difference in megapixel, Samsung Galaxy S21 Fan Edition is doing a really good job in terms of facial details. I think the main difference here is the white balance. As you will see that Galaxy S23 Fan Edition is warmer or has a yellowish skin tone compared to the neutral look of S21 FE. Images looks like the one you would see on an iPhone, so in a way Samsung is mimicking the way iPhone looks on the images. Not sure if this is a marketing strategy to lure some iPhone owners to use Samsung phones. In terms of subject separation or cutout, I think both of them are doing a really good job on the rear cameras. Tested hundreds of portrait images and both of these phones is spot on in detecting edges, even with busy background. Sometimes there's a miss on the hair, but that's normal or true on any smartphones that uses AI to detect subject separation. Also, one of the advantages of the newer S23 Fan Edition is the focal length. So you will have 1x and 3x on the S21 Fan Edition, while you will have 1x, 2x, and 3x on the new S23 FE that makes it 24mm, 50mm, and 85mm shot. Looking at the selfie camera, if you pixel peep any of the images, you will see more details on the 32 megapixel sensor of S21 Fan Edition, but it's not so bad on S23 FE. I just noticed more details when I crop in, in the images. Next is night shots and there's a big difference between these two phones and if you want to buy any of these two phones based from their low rate capabilities or if you want to know if you need to upgrade to the newer S23 FE based from their night shots then this video will answer it. The three upgrades of the newer S23 FE are exposure, it exposes the scene better, it has better colors, you will see that the colors are popping out on the new S23 FE and sharpness, there's more details on the newer fan edition. Even flaring on direct light source, you would see that there's a strong circular flaring on S21 Fan Edition and just overall, the images that S23 FE produces are significantly better than the older model. 
And looking at all three sensors from the ultra wide, wide, and telephoto, I think it's pretty consistent. Exposure and sharpness are better on the newer FE. This is the ported video on both phones. Both can shoot full HD at 30 FPS, but the newer S23 FE can shoot up to three times. And for our last LEGO for image quality test, let's talk about flaring. In all three sensors, you will see that S23 FE manage it well, even in low light condition. In terms of highlights, I think S23 FE is phenomenal. Shooting those strong light source, it provides more information. And same goes with exposure, you would see that S23 FE will expose the subject better compared to the older model. There's no macro capability on both phones, but shooting this leaf, you would see that S23 FE has closer focus than S21 FE, or maybe just an autofocus issue on the older S21 FE, who knows. In terms of sharpness, if we zoom in on the ultra wide, you would see that there's more information on S23 Fan Edition. Using the main sensor, it's almost a tie, and so was the telephoto. And lastly, in terms of details, if you crop in on this image, the 50 megapixel main shooter of S23 Fan Edition will beat the older 12 megapixel. So that's it for our image test. I think the newer S23 FE is better than S21 FE in terms of the image quality. It's better on night shots, exposure, highlights, and details. So after the image quality test, now let's talk about the video quality of these two phones. Alright, let's start with our video test starting with slow motion. Everything will be side by side. S21 Fan Edition will be on the left and S23 Fan Edition will be on the right. And this is the super slow motion test. I think the quality is almost the same. Let me know if you see any difference when you watch this video. Let's test the stabilization and we're starting with the ultra wide lens 4K 30 FPS. And both phones are really good. Both have super steady video. And by the way, I'm shaking the phones like crazy, but the stabilization is really good. Next is the main sensor. Same value, 4K 30 FPS, and the newer S23 Fan Edition is brighter, and the stabilization is better. Now we're zooming in to 3 times optical zoom, and you would see that it's a little bit shaky on S21 FE. Still, with its age, it's doing pretty good, but S23 FE is more stable. And the last category is selfie on the stabilization test. Both phones can shoot 4K 60 FPS. This is 4K 30 FPS. And you would see that the stabilization on the newer S23 Fan Edition is better. And for our last video test, low light condition. I think because of the slower shutter speed, S23 F is having a jello effect. But in terms of exposure and colors, it's so much better than the older S21 Fan Edition. So this is the ultimate camera shootout of Samsung Galaxy S21 Fan Edition versus Samsung Galaxy S23 Fan Edition. The older Samsung Galaxy S21 Fan Edition is still a really good choice. If you're in a budget, it can still compete with the newer Samsung flagship phones and even S23 FE. But you could see the age of the phone. Samsung Galaxy S23 FE is so much better from the night shots, low light video, highlights, and video stabilization. If you're thinking of upgrading to S21 FE to S23 FE and you have the budget, I think you should go for it. And there you go. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll continue to compare these two phones in our channel. Maybe Samsung Galaxy A54 versus S23 Fan Edition next, so stay tuned. And as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.